Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back to a YouTube video actually. It's it's been a while since I did one of these. And I guess I really did not have anything in mind uh, to talk about. Well, I had one specific thing that's a whole reason for the video, but not anything like majorly particular. So I was watching Maximilian Dude's um, videos, right? Uh, his recent video which was put out. And he was talking about um, to make fighting games free to play. And I thought it was a pretty interesting take because here's the thing, right? In my own, I'll be I'll be completely honest. Uh, there, there will be no filters, no anything in this video or anything of that sort. I'll be completely honest here. It's just a chill, layback kind of a talk with you dudes. So the thing is that the the, the one interesting thing about the video, or the, the interesting things about the video that he mentions, is that fighting games are at a point where. There are a lot of fighting games coming out, right? So like there's Dragon Ball Fighters, we got Guilty Gear, and like now we just had a DNF Duel Beta, which I really enjoyed by the way. I, I want to touch up on the topic as well. And Tekken and Mortal Kombat and all of that sort. So personally, me, the only fighting game that I grew up with initially was Tekken, right? So from Tekken 4, Tekken 3, Tekken 4, Tekken 5, and till Tekken 7. And I've got to a point where I, don't get me wrong, I don't hate Tekken 10. It's, it's, it's still one of the best fighting games according to me. Um, according to me, that is my own personal opinion. It, it, you guys might have different opinions on other games, but because I've, I've been with it since day one or as since childhood, it's just that it's stuck with me and it's been my game, you know? And I don't know, it's just that I, I feel like I felt like I wanted to come up here and I just wanted to rant a little bit since I'm not streaming today, because I stream on alternate days now, and I, I made a, a consistent schedule. Yeah, if you guys aren't following me already, just a shameless plug, make sure to follow me on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash preraptor. It should be in the description uh, with the link as well. And yeah, it's it's just that, I don't know, uh, Tekken 7 with, with its current, um, with its current point in time, I feel like is very, I don't know what the proper word for it. It's very not fun. Yeah, there you go. It's not fun given how season four is given with netcode with this community and Seeing that how it was previously compared to previous season to season four now because I I, I mean I get it right It's been like it's been a while since uh, What's it called since like a new game has been released or given game has been announced for Tekken 7 We got Street Fighter 6. We got an announcement for Street Fighter 6. Where's Tekken 8, right? So it's not. It's, it's not. A, it's not that off far. I, I'm pretty sure. As soon as if Sweet Fire Six came out, Tekken Eight shouldn't be that far off. Um, don't mind this. There's a shadow in the background. He always does this whenever I start streaming or start recording. He always comes and does it. I don't know why. Shadow, you gotta stop, man. But <laughs> yeah, the thing is that for me now at the moment, I stopped playing as much Tekken Ten. I've been I've been focusing on a lot of different content. So I've been focusing on games that I really enjoy not only fighting games it just uh, so recently for example uh, if anyone's been keeping up with the videos or uh, that I post on YouTube on my YouTube it's mostly been with Ghostwire Tokyo and like DNF Duel and stuff like that uh, let's let's quickly jump uh, talk about DNF Duel right uh, the bait that I, I finally got to jump on DNF Duel's um, final beta or the second beta I guess but I don't know if they're gonna release another one before the release in June um, which is the planned release date but the game, I don't know, man. Something about the game being 2D captivated me. Here's the thing, right? I'm not much of 2D fighter, right? I don't, I don't play 2D games. But I recently, slowly getting into 2D games, you know, like uh, based on how they look, the static. And DNF Duel has hit every aspect of that for me to play. So it's like, it's easy, it's fun, uh, it's not overwhelming. I, I kept up with uh, it since it since day one. Were on its beta, so I even if new mechanics are released, I can just you know I'm, I'm in tune with the game and I, I can learn the mechanics later on. The the thing about me learning other fighting games right now, like for example Guilty Gear Street Fighter 2, is that there's too many mechanics and I'm really not invested into uh, putting my time into it. So as soon as a new fighting game comes out, like a fresh new fighting game, like uh, Project L is going to come out, I'm going to be jumping on that definitely, and DNF Duel for example. So, yeah, I, 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 I feel like those are the two games that are really going to captivate me. And speaking about um, 
Oh, I, I completely derailed off the topic of Tekken. So, yeah, I'm not much into playing Tekken right now. I'm expanding my horizons in different fighting games. And coming back to the point where Max was talking about um, making fighting games free, this is exactly why, right? Since if people are getting sick and uh, sick of um, a fighting game, for example, say, let's say, Mortal Kombat or Tekken or any, any fighting games that you play or if you play, they have the opportunity... To jump on these games but here's the thing some of these games are really pricey at the moment so even on the ps4 it's 49 if you got to buy it on ps5 it's like around what 64 65 pounds that's a standard price where we ps5 games at the moment um and 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 with the current talks of um, them merging ps plus and ps now together if 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 they could in implement fighting games in them you know like uh, different fighting games to stream from that service if you play if you're playing for a higher tier so there are three tiers on that PlayStation Plus and, um, and PS Now when they're joining together I don't know what they're called if you go for the highest tier I don't know how much your price is maybe I'll make a different video on it but if you go on the highest tier on it you you should be able to have access to like majority of like the mainstream games or something of that sorts I really don't mind the, uh, I, I don't mind the merging of PS Plus and PS Now because I, I here's the thing right I rarely pay, play on the PS5 now I do mostly PC games if my PC is beefy enough to handle any games I play I play it on PS on the PC definitely but for the mainstream to play games I just moved on onto um, the PS5 so my point is that I would say making fighting games free at least like even like even the older ones. Um, or even upcoming ones, at least making them cheaper and affordable to to people that recently want or to people who want to get on to fighting games could be really, really beneficial. You know, like some people. So f for me, I as soon as I j I jump off work, I either stream or I record or I play some games on my own. In the meantime, so like I need something to. Uh, what's the word for it? boost my 13 I, I don't know B boost my I, <laughs> I cannot find a word for it. every time I stream I, or every time I record I cannot find words so what I'm trying to say is that finding games can be or any games can be a really a big part of anyone's lives you know um, it, like it, it, people who are uh, suffering from a disease or anything of that sort it can be a big part of anyone's lives uh, disease in terms of like uh, like people who are st autistic or they, they 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 need something to keep them busy. That's one of the examples I'm just giving up putting out there. Uh, so games in general are a big part of anyone's life, uh, but fighting games, I feel like are on a different level uh, because they give you the level of satisfaction as soon as you do something as to, uh, because you you have a feeling of accomplishment in every fighting game and it it, it relaxes you. Uh, if you don't, if you don't take games, if you don't take fighting games or any competitive games ser seriously and play it for the fun of it, it's super, it's super fun and it's rewarding and it's pretty chill, especially when you play with friends and stuff like that. So that's, I, I guess that's what I wanted to jump up here and talk about. You know, it's, it's just that, um, I, as I mentioned, I didn't have any, uh, any specific plan in mind for me to come up here and talk about anything. It's just that. I just wanted to rant a little bit about fighting games, and yeah, uh, because I've I've been I've watched Max's video, and I thought like maybe I should have some of my inputs in there. I, I I don't care if anyone watches it or not. It's just that I want to have something for the YouTube that I talked about this, you know, and something to get off my mind. And yeah, it's 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 pretty fun. I'll be compl I'll be continuing to upload videos like any if I find any any other fighting games interesting, I'll jump on them. Uh, upload videos uh, or any other games for that matter. Elden Ring is one of the biggest games that I've been like recently uh, playing and by far one of the best Souls games but I still feel like I still feel like Bloodborne is one of my favorites but that's a story for a different day so like we'll, we'll talk about that later uh, but yeah I, I, I that's what I feel like about fighting games I totally agree with Max um, it's in my personal opinion people is especially new people who want to jump onto games fighting games can have that opportunity at least if the fighting games are made free or anything of that sort you know i, I don't know what, what, do you, what do you guys think what, what, what are your inputs on like fighting games if, if they're supposed to be free what are they supposed to be like or uh, which is which is one of the biggest fighting game that has stuck with you since childhood and you're still playing it you know uh that's that's what for me it's obviously taken 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to come up here and just talk about it. But if you do, uh, or if you guys want to jump on and talk anytime, as I mentioned, I stream on Twitch every alternate week. Uh, so every alternate days on every week. Have my, uh, have my schedule in the stream uh, description and all of that sort as well. Uh, yeah, so jump onto twitch.tv slash Uh Link should be in the description again. And we can we can chill, hang, and I'm, I'm not I'm not like a big streamer or anything of the sort. It's just I, I do it for fun and I like what I'm doing. Hands, ha, hands wise, I, I took a break from it. Yeah, I took it like two or three because I was like really not gonna be li not 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 gonna lie. I was really burnt out on streaming and recording, or making videos or making content in general. But I've come back to it. I feel refreshed and I feel like I want to do more. Um, if any more, if you if you guys have any more ideas. On what kind of uh, videos I should make in terms of my specific content, you know? Let me know. I will try my best to do it. And yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to do. Just want to come up here and talk about it. That being said, I will see you guys. Where I see you. Stay safe. Take care. And peace.